Hi everyone, Officer Potak here. Hi, it's Officer Best. And we are at the Catasauqua Playground, which is finally open. And the park is open, so we are on the swings today. What we're do you gonna, think? We're going to read from the swings. <laughs> Wait, if I fall off of here, is that a workman's comp claim? I believe it would be. <laughs> no but we're not going to have that. No, no falling. So, I'm going to read Scooby-Doo and the Disappearing Donuts. And we're going to try not to fall off our swings. No, I think I'm pretty good. And if you guys come down here, I've been famous for doing, I don't know what the kids call it now, but we used to call it the underdoggy, where you get pushed from behind and the person runs under the swing. So if you're ever down at the park and you see me, shout out to me and I'll come push you on the swings. Rummy! Scooby-Doo rum rubbed his tummy and looked inside the donut store. His friends looked too. Doodles Donuts! Shaggy read the sign. Let's go inside. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Dora, said the owner. Hello, said Fred. I'm Fred, and these are my friends Daphne, Velma, Shaggy, and Scooby-Doo. We'd like some donuts, said Shaggy. Rummy, Scooby-Doo said. In a flash, Shaggy and Scooby-Doo gobbled down dozens of donuts. <laughs> Velma and Daphne laughed. Hey, leave some for us, Fred joked. Your dog sure loves donuts, Dora said. Just like my doggy Doodles. I guess that's why you call the shop Doodles Donuts, Velma said. Do you think she'll swing? Here, bring her over, sit in my lap, and let's see if she swings with me. <laughs> a few days later, he the gang came back <laughs> for more donuts. But the donut shop looked different. Dora was packing everything up. She was Hi, closing sweetie. Doodle's Want donuts. Swing? I have a big Hi. problem, she told the gang. Donuts swing? have been disappearing. Yeah, oh, we got a little one to swing with us and read our book. Oh, I made a friend. What's her name? Genevieve. Genevieve. Oh, I love this it. This is Genevieve. Say hi, look. It. Say hi. Say hi. She's so cute. How old? One. She's one. One. Oh. oh, yeah, you were Boop. saying that. Got your day. nose. <laughs> Dora sighed. Boop. Every night, I put the donuts Pinky in a bin in, in the back nose. room, <laughs> and in the morning, the donuts are gone. <laughs> Last night, I stayed late, Dora said, and I spotted a huge, scary creature covered in fur. It was digging around the bin, eating my donuts. A monster? Scooby asked. <laughs> oh, they're a little big for your face. <laughs> oh. How can I stay open, Dora asked, when the monster will come back? And who knows what could happen? Velma stepped forward. Like we'll fun. help, Velma told Dora. <laughs> we'll stay at the donut shop tonight, Fred said. We'll find out the truth about the monster, Daphne added. And you're looking ready for, for nap. You're going to go to sleep. You're going to rock her to sleep? <laughs> you ever need a babysitter? Here we go. Officer Beth will help. <laughs> Stay in the shop tonight? Shaggy shook his head. Row away, Scooby added. That's, that goes double fudge donuts for me, said Shaggy. Please stay, Dora begged. You can have all the free donuts you can eat. We're okay, Scooby agreed. That goes triple donuts for me, said Shaggy. I'm so happy she's not scared of people. No. Hi, honey. Hi. Oh, you're so pretty. That night, the gang stayed in the shop. <laughs> Scooby and Shaggy slurped down donut after donut. Oh, I think she's ready for mom Finally, and dad. Shaggy <laughs> yawned. Look he was tired from asleep. eating. Thank you so much. No problem. What a Thank treat. You. <laughs> we love kids. <laughs> we really do. Anytime kids are down here, we're, we're going to come down and try to hang out with them. And, oh, that's cool. Yeah, we try to do as much as we can. Now the park's open, we're excited so people can come out and yeah, hang out with us. Yeah, this should be open. Yeah, there's leaks in the pool. We were explaining to everybody. Yeah. There's leaks really? in the pool, so they're trying to... Because of COVID, it was shut down, so it's a good summer to figure out the leaks so next summer we can be up and running. Oh, okay. I mean, they just added the beautiful umbrellas and such and all yeah. the chairs out there. So hopefully by next summer it'll be twice as nice. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, they fixed, it's I thought they fixed warm. it last year. 
I think last year was more of the, the issues of the water running into it. There was like oh. a sediment issue where it ran down the hill and they fixed it that. so hard. Yeah, yeah. And, then they, and they reinforced the wall a little bit, try to like move the water so it doesn't go back into the pool again. Oh, wow. So let's hope it's open next year. Okay. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Thanks for rocking with me. What a bye. treat that was for me. <laughs> you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. You too. We might as well hide now, good buddy, he told Scooby. They closed their eyes to nap. Roar! A loud shriek woke them up. That was awesome. <laughs> I love these little kids. What a treat that was for me. Zoinks! This was awful. It's coming from the back room, Velma said. Like Scoob and I will explore the front, Shaggy said. Velma, Fred, and Daphne raced to the back of the room. Scooby and Shaggy slipped out the front. It was dark. Shaggy could barely see. Scooby, he whispered, but Scooby was gone. Shaggy had to find the rest of the gang. He had to tell them Scooby had disappeared. Shaggy gulped. He tiptoed around the side of the building. All at once, a giant furry monster leaped out. Monster! Shaggy shouted. Somewhere he heard Scooby shout, Monster! The gang rushed over. Velma turned on her flashlight. Shaggy gazed at the big furry creature. Scooby gazed at the big furry creature. Scooby, said Shaggy. Raggy, said Scooby. You each thought the other was a monster, Fred explained. It was so dark you couldn't see, Daphne said. And that gives me an idea, Velma explained. Come on, I know who the real monster is. She led the others out back. Roar! The shriek grew louder. Then they saw it, the monster. Huge, furry, scary, Velma switched on the floodlights. Rodles, said Scooby. You're right, said Shaggy. It's Dora's dog, Doodles, Daphne said. The monster wasn't big or scary at all. What's going on, asked Dora. She had just come to check on the gang. Doodles is the monster, Velma explained. The moonlight and the shadows just made her look like a monster, Fred added. Good job, said Dora. Now I can keep my shop open. How can I thank you? The gang grinned. Scooby rubbed his tummy. Keep making those donuts, said Fred. And we can keep eating donuts, said Shaggy. Scooby dooby doo, Scooby barked. And that is the book, Scooby-Doo and the Disappearing Donuts. Well, at least we know Officer Lackett didn't get them. Absolutely. And Scooby-Doo, they are the crime-solving mystery hunters. I like Scooby-Doo. I always have. So we want to thank you again for being with us. We are here at the Catasauqua Park and Playground, which is now open. Uh, we really hope to see you out here. It's been a little quiet, like Officer Best was saying, in the past few days. Uh, the weather's beautiful, so if you can come out, come on out and play, and maybe we'll come and hang out with you. Yeah, come on down. You see, we made a friend today with Genevieve, so that was awfully nice. That was a big treat for both of us. Absolutely. So come on down, stay well, stay safe, get some exercise, get some sunshine, and when you're all done, wash, wash your, your hands. hands. Bye. Bye. Can't find out where the mouse is. Sorry, technical difficulty here. We're just going to have to shut it up this way. Not touch screen.